it has been amended on several occasions including the word secularism which in itself was inserted into the constitution and for 75 years the nehruvian vision of secularism has prevailed over other competing ideas i'm asking you as we look to 2047 do you believe that that nehruvian vision of secularism will increasingly be relegated into the pages of history books and through the constitution amendment we will have by 2047 a new vision of an indian secular republic the word secular didn't make us secular we are a secular country and society for thousands of years and on top of that our, our secularism is already enshrined in the constitution without using that word otherwise how do you have the right to worship how do you have the right to profess religion how do you have the right to propagate religion all of these imply that the state is neutral about your religion it's clearly at odds with the notion that we will be the land of one set of people the hindu rashtra and therefore it seems to me you can take the word secular out and still remain secular no, Harsh. I, I absolutely agree with Shashi. The word secular did not make us secular. Uh, the Hindu majority made us secular. If you look at India, uh, there are two Punjabs. Uh, they are not together. Punjab, Indian Punjab is very happily with Tamil Nadu. And Indian Bengal is very happily with Gujarat. But the two Punjabs are not together and the two Bengals are not together. Why is it that? That is because India has always been a Hindu Rashtra. The difference is between Rashtra and Rajya, between nation and state. And the question is, how much does the constitution reflect it or should reflect it? And that's a legitimate debate to have. But India has always been a Hindu Rashtra. As uh, Sri Aurobindo said in his Uttarpara speech, that Sanatan Dharma, that for you, for all of us, is nationalism. Just before he retired to a life of spirituality in Pondicherry. So it, it depends how you define the word Hindu Rashtra. But in a very broad, you know, pun intended Catholic sense, small c Catholic sense, it has always been a Hindu Rashtra. Now on Hindutva, you mentioned about at the sufferance of the majority, the person who actually coined the term, well, I mean the person who popularized the term, Veer Savarkar, he was very clear that everybody will have equal individual rights in this free Hindustan. In fact, he went to the extent of saying that we might even have proportional representation at one point in the parliament and all cultural autonomy. So the person who actually popularized the term, we should be you know, decent enough to take it at the face value. It is the so-called Hindu right, I think right and left does not really apply to India, yeah, which is actually perfectly fine with secularism, that is religion neutral personal laws, religion neutral educational institutions, and it is the so-called secularists who want Muslim men to have four wives, at least legally, who are okay with uh, polygamy in for some and not for other. I mean, uh, you know, for Acharya Kriplani, during the Hindu court bill debate, told Nehru on his face that you, uh, you are bringing uh, monogamy for Hindus, take it from me, the Muslims are ready to have it, you're not brave enough to do it. So let us not use straw men to take the debate in the wrong direction. You, you just raised that straw man harsh yourself. Just two things very quickly. When you speak of Hindus as a nation, quoting Aurobindo, and when you quote Savarkar, Savarkar, by the way, said in 1937 as president of the Hindu Mahasabha that India has two nations, the Hindus and the Muslims, which is the words that were echoed three years later by Jinnah and Lahore. So the fact is that this notion of nationhood is an exclusive one. It excludes those who do not subscribe to the notion of a Hindu was, identity. Was Savarkar not proven correct by partition? <laughs> I mean, let us ask that honestly. Well, I think that... Lahore is not in India. My grandmother was born there. My wife's grandmother was, grew up in Bangladesh. That's not part of India last I checked. It is a reality, it's a lived reality that those parts of the Indian subcontinent where Hindu majority stopped are no longer India. Perry Anderson, an academic once attacked Nehru from the left, said wherever the Hindu majority stops, AFSPA begins. And Indian secularism is nothing but a version of Hindu confessionalism. He was attacking Nehru from the left saying that Nehru was a crypto Hindutva figure. <laughs> so it really, and remember, Indian Union Muslim League, All India Muslim League, very much saw Nehru and Gandhi as Hindu figures. And Patel famously said in a speech, just days before Gandhi was murdered by Godse, in January 1948 in Kolkata, that what ek din mein kya Muslim League wale Congress ban gaye. Congress was the large church, again pun not intended, Hindu party. Big tent. Hmm. It was the big tent Hindu party.